One of the Sahabiyat is Ibn Hajar. He mentions her son had died in, in, in a battle. Think about this. Even our brothers should be ashamed when I say this. Think about this. Our, this, this, this Sahabiyya, this woman who had her husband had already become a shaheed. Her brothers had become shuhada. Her son had died. And now she's at the battlefield in that time of stress where the battle is over and they're looking through the people who have become, who have become shuhada, who have died from this worldly life and she's looking to find her son. There is nobody to go with her. And as she's looking, she has her niqab and she has her abayar wrapped to make sure that it doesn't become tight sitting even when she's walking. And some of the other women, they, they told her, what's wrong with you? Your son is dead. You are amongst the dead. And you are worried about your face and your covering. She said, my son has died, not my haya. Not my haya. Fatima. The daughter of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. She would talk to the Sahabiyat and she would tell them and she would give them this advice that I don't like that when the kafan is wrapped on the body that it's wrapped in a way that it shows the size of the body. Subhanallah. She's worried about her haya after her death. She said, I'm worried that when they bury me, the kafan should be left as a loose cloth on top as well, so it doesn't show the size. These were the women of Islam that should put our brothers to shame. Our sisters, our brothers, uh, our youngsters should look up to these women. These are the women that are the women of Jannah. These are the women that, that brought the concept of haya into life and set an example and served the religion in every capacity without violating their hijab. They were the first of those that became Muslim. They were the first that became shuhada. They were the greatest of scholars of fiqh and hadith like Aisha radiyanha. But they didn't have to go sit in the middle of men and talk to them. They didn't have to record themselves and show themselves. They could teach what they needed to teach within the boundaries of Islam. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for our brothers and our sisters and ourselves to regain that haya beginning in our hearts and then coming in the way that we speech in our speech in our tongue away from lewd and 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 and, and uh, harsh harsh and 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 uh, yani false and lie and those speech that we should have haya from uh, let alone from fahsh from lewd statements and things and then in our actions and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us istiqama upon that till our death أسرر قلبي وجدت ألقي أسايا وأشتكي طي صدري دربا سحيق العطايا به بدأت ولكن لم أدري ما منتهايا لم أدري يأسي فيه ولا عرفت هدايا ولا عرفت ظلامي ولا عرفت ضحايا ولا لغيرك دوا يا رب يوم الندايا يا